Welcome back to the GDevelop beginner tutorial. And in this video, we're gonna be starting on a new project, which is gonna be a top-down style shooter. Now, for if you're in my class, please follow along. Don't try to use your own graphics at the moment. We'll get into adding those things later on, um, mainly because some of the things that I'm doing are gonna be kind of specific to the graphics that we're using, and it will make more sense if we do it this way. So. Let's go ahead and create a new project, and I'm gonna call it uh, Pirate Isles, or something like that, and we're gonna start an empty game. Now in here, I'm gonna add in a new scene. It's gonna be called, oops, we'll go back to this little panel here. We're gonna rename this, and we're gonna call it Ocean Level. Now first thing we're going to do is open up our level. We're gonna add in a few objects. So I'm gonna go down to the pirate area, pirate pack, and I'm gonna add in a pirate ship. So the first one I'm gonna add in, is gonna be this red ship. Now you can pick whichever pirate ship you want here, this doesn't matter. Um, I like the, the red ship with the cross on it. So let's go ahead and add that to the game. Now I'm gonna also go ahead and add in an explosion. We're gonna add in quite a few of these things. We're gonna add in a rock, and you can add in a few rocks. I'm just gonna add in one for now. We're gonna add in this tiled sea sprite. We'll add that in. We're gonna add in a crew member up here. And we're gonna add in the sand. And we're also gonna add in the island, which is this one. Um, add in a few bushes and add in another ship. And a cannonball. So we've got all of these things in here. And in this first video, we're just gonna get our movement for the ship happening. This is gonna be pretty basic movement. Later on, we're going to modify it a little bit. But first thing, we'll get our kind of sea background happening. We'll just, this is a tiled sprite, so we can move that out like that there. And then we're gonna put our red ship pretty much just in the center of here. So with that done, what we want to do is go into the events for this and we're gonna add in a new group. This is gonna be called player control. And in here, we'll add some sub events uh, and we're gonna add in the different keys. So for this, I'm gonna add in the arrow keys. If you prefer WASD, you can, but then you're gonna to have to think of some other keys later on for uh, using some other stuff. So um, key pressed, we're gonna use up arrow, oops, I'll write in up, so we'll write up, and then I'm gonna add a new event here. I'll move all these over in a sec. Key press, nope, key, key pressed. I'll write down, I'll add these in. I'll duplicate these, copy, add new event, Ooh. paste conditions, add new event, paste conditions, change this to be right and left. All right, I'll just shift these along here. Okay, so we've got our different events for moving it. Up, down, right, left. Now this is gonna be really simple here. What we're gonna do is up key, we're going to add an action, which is gonna be move or add a force. And the angle uh, toward a position, sorry, add a force angle. The angle here is going to be red ship dot angle. Okay, so the red ship is going to be rotating and we want it to move forward in the angle that it is currently facing. So if we were to hit play, you'll notice that there's going to be a bit of an issue here. If I push the up key, uh, nothing happens because I didn't actually say how fast I want it to go. So let's go 50. This will be pretty slow. 
You'll see it moves to the right. My pirate ship strafes. Not really ideal. What we need to do here, and this is because of the way, if I bring up paint, this is because of the way, and I've spoken about this before, the uh, movement works. So this here is zero degrees. Okay, and currently the default position of the pirate ship, which kind of looks like this, the position of this, even though the ship graphic is facing down, it's actually facing to the right. So when we move along the current angle, it's facing to the right. And we can see that if we go to here and look at the angle over here. Now, what we need to do if we want it to move the direction that it's actually looking in, there's two options. We either change all the graphics for this so that they're facing to the right, which sounds easy, but is really a pain and we're not going to do it. So we're actually going to just go ahead and add 90 degrees to this. So when it moves, it's going to go forward like that. Now the down key, uh, we're not actually going to use that at the moment. We'll leave that for now. Ships don't tend to reverse. Um, right key pressed. We're going to rotate. Rotate this and we're going to uh, ooh, change the angle. I think we want rotate toward angle. Uh, angle to rotate towards. No, we just want rotate, I think. Um, we're going to change all this later on so it looks a lot better. Angular speed is going to be... Uh, we're going to want it to turn clockwise when we do that row, uh, the right key. So we'll make it go 45. And then when the left key is pushed, we're going to rotate the ship the opposite direction. So rotate negative 45. So what we've currently got, we're going to rotate our ship right, we can push forward, it sails forward, we let go and it suddenly stops. Now we're going to put some acceleration and some inertia on this later on so that it um, continues to sail for a little bit. But right now, this is all we need. Now there's one more thing, which is going to be, we're going to go into here, we're going to add in, say like a sand bank here and a grass bank over here. We just want to add these in. Now what we need to do in here is add a new event. I'm going to put it under player control. We don't need a condition for this. We're just going to add this here. Red ship. Uh, we're going to look for move. Move away. Um, we may not actually have this one. So we'll probably do it in the next video. But currently what we've got here is we can move our ship forward as we push up. And we can rotate it left and right. Now in the next video we'll look at actually making it so it can't just... Um, float through these islands or as it's going to be it's going to kind of slide underneath them which looks a bit sus so let's not do that we'll go back here we'll change the Z order of the ship to be like a thousand so it's going to be above pretty much everything and then that will fly over the island now we want it to actually when it hits the island we want it to actually crash and take some damage and move away um, we can do that and we'll figure that out uh, pretty soon. I think we can do it. I'm going to try it in the next video. Um, anyway, so let's just pause here. I'll save my project, control S, and then the next video will be ready to go.